And now, Drew Hinesley with News Channel 12 Sports. ECU head coach Ruffin McNeil had to make a difficult decision today when he announced he was not renewing the contract of his longtime assistant and friend Brian Mitchell, who was the team's defensive coordinator for the past three seasons. ECU's defense gave up an average of 31.6 points a game, but in their five losses, that average jumped to 42.8. Mitchell has worked with Coach McNeil for the past seven seasons, including four years at Texas Tech. The school sent out a statement today, and in it, Coach McNeil was quoted saying, there's never a good time to make a coaching change, especially one that involves a friend and a colleague who I respect professionally. However, I have the responsibility and commitment to maintain the best interest for this program and East Carolina University, end quote. McNeil said he will not make any further comments on personnel until the hiring process has been completed. In other college coaching news, Virginia coach Mike London hired Tom O'Brien today to be his associate head coach for offense and to coach tight ends. O'Brien was an assistant at Virginia for 15 years before becoming a coach, a head coach. He was fired by NC State on November 25th. His career record is 115 and 80. Now for some high school sports, and I was in Onslow County this evening. I was able to get to Dixon High School where they were hosting North Duplin. Coach Ricky Edwards trying to fire up his Rebels, but early on it was Marshburn who was fired up for the Bulldogs. James Britt hits the three here for North Duplin. A couple of Lady Rebels hanging around for the boys game, hoping that they can beat the Bulldogs. Marshburn again inside, he was a force this evening. Then Sicknickel with the fast break bucket. Darren Goodman trying to keep his team in it, but the Bulldogs would prove too tough tonight, and Dixon wins it 56 to 49. On the north side of the county, the White Oak Vikings played host to the Havelock Rams on the wrestling map. Great matchup in the 145 pound weight class. White Oak coach David Appleton, well, trying to give a few pointers to one of his studs. The Rams, they have a lot of studs on their team, and here another pin move. Viking fans, well, they're trying to offer some suggestions. And Nathan Thompson listened as he gets a win in his match, but the Rams dominate the night and they win it 54 to 24 over the Vikings. The 2012 NFL rookie quarterback class has been one of the best in recent memory. Several records have been set and three of them have led their teams to the playoffs and were guaranteed one of them will win a playoff game because the Redskins Robert Griffin III and the Seahawks Russell Wilson will square off Sunday in Washington, D.C. We'll have more on that tomorrow here on News Channel 12. That's all for sports. A final check of your forecast after the break. You're watching News Channel 12.